Phil, you got to play Star Wars Bounty Hunter. Yes, I did. So explain to the people what is Star Wars Bounty Hunter and why you're enjoying it. Oh, dude, for those who don't know, the younger people out there, Star Wars Bounty Hunter was like one of those old classic Star Wars games from like the early 2000s. For the PS2 and the PS2, GameCube. I, I know Xbox, it was yeah. GameCube. Because I have it for the GameCube. So Yeah. When did that come out? Are you looking? Uh, I'll look it up right original? now. 2002. Yeah, I was I was actually thinking 2002. It's it's a really good game. It's, no Xbox, uh, GameCube, and PlayStation 2 oh, only. Oh, really? Yeah. I thought it came out on Mm-mm. Xbox. Nope. Um, wow, that made me lose my train of thought. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. But, no, but, you're but, all but, good. No, so you play as Jango Fett. Um, you it's like a kind of bit of like a prequel to the Clone Wars movie, mm-hmm. and you kind of just see how all the events leading up to it, how he meets that assassin lady, and it's like honestly, it's way ahead of its time. I think the most difficult part about the game in the original was like your fighting controller scheme. Yeah, um, they fixed that too, right? Yeah, a lot of the controller stuff early in the 2000s like people didn't know what to do no with like, the second stick no, yeah yeah there was just like no like guidelines and it wasn't until like i pretty much played like call of duty 2 on the xbox 360 yeah where they finally were like oh we should use this to aim yeah so uh they finally released a remastered version of it they just kind of up uh upscaled the textures it's a lot of the original stuff and they just gave some quality of life things like a modern controller scheme and now you can move and shoot. That's not really take controls. Uh, honestly, dude, it's crazy how far ahead of time that this game is. Mm-hmm. So, like, a lot of the mechanics in there, there's vaulting, there's climbing. Um, like Uncharted stuff. Yeah, like Uncharted yeah. stuff. And, like, the bounty hunter system, I mean, I was, like, five or whatever when this came out. So. Yeah. Like, I didn't really understand it, but you use a scanner, you scan people, you mark them, and then you have to actually tie them up, and then you can collect them. Like, there's a lot of things that were kind of ahead of its time. Time that surprised me that you see in games today, or games that got popular throughout, like, the PS3 genre, or, like, the gen generation, yeah. that it had, like, years ago. Like the rocket launcher on your back, on your jetpack and everything, that's all guided through aim. So you can actually make it do like loop-de-loops and do all that kind yeah. of cool stuff. The gadgets were really just cool. I, like playing through this, it made me so happy. That's awesome. Yeah, no, man, I remember playing this back in the day on the PlayStation 2 and loving it. And then um, the GameCube was like the the way I played it most <clears> of my childhood. And it was a game I never beat as a kid. I, I beat it now because I went back and played it like as yeah. an older. Because as a kid, you're kind of just like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it was it is ahead of its time. And I think this kind of like laid the groundwork for a lot of action adventure games that seem to come out later, specifically in like the PS3 and Xbox mm-hmm. 360 days. Like I mentioned Uncharted, like it is very much Uncharted-esque. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think we need more games like this nowadays. Um, so I think it's cool that like you got to, you know, play this on pc right yep they just came out on steam just like a few weeks ago or something okay like that. and it's just kind of like sold you like you yeah, just love revisiting that yeah it's just awesome you know what was cool was the uh the auto aim mechanics where he automatically whenever you're in a fight yeah. he's already kind of looking around with both his mm-hmm. hands targeting the yeah. other person which is really cool so you get to shoot two targets at once yeah instead of just like focusing on, on one. the one yeah that's so cool i love it do you is jenko fett like one of your favorite star wars characters would you feel before this game and after now i think he just like he came at the perfect time because like everyone loved boba fett yeah so when clone wars came out and you kind of see like oh, boba fett's is, origins and yeah stuff. yeah so i think it was just kind of carrying the mantle and that legacy of like Boba Fett and Mm -hmm. then you get to see this father figure and how he became to be which is really cool you know it'd be a fun thing to do on this podcast um this goes for movies and games is to revisit older stuff and then like talk about it Mm -hmm. um older uh Star Wars games older uh I mean obviously Star Wars movies but like older movies and stuff like that maybe that's something we should look into where yeah 
we can come back and have that conversation. Because, like, talking about the Revenge of the Sith game, did you ever get to play that one? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that one was... Do you remember how they had the, like, Mortal Kombat mode where you could mm-hmm. fight? That Like, that's for me, is, like, awesome Force Unleashed. Would mm-hmm. be awesome to talk about uh, Knights of the Old Republic, which I don't think you've ever played the original, right? Yeah, I'm actually playing through it right now. Oh, okay. Do you like it? Yeah, I'm on, like, Act 2 or something like that. So. I love that game. I'm so pissed about that remake. Yeah. <laughs> I know. It's the easiest thing. The easy... Well, not. it's hard making a video game, I understand. Yeah. But it is the easiest idea to make. Like, that is like printing money. Mm-hmm. If you just... Or, and I've said this, it baffles me that like that uh, Old Republic uh, MMO, how mm-hmm. that's not been coming to consoles. I know it's on PC and everything like that. I don't play PC a lot. Mm-hmm. But like a lot of these MMOs, World of Warcraft, stuff like that should be moved to consoles. Was it you that was talking about like Game Pass? Because since they uh, Game acquired... Pass should have World of Warcraft. Yeah, it, it makes no like that should be your subscription to play it. Yeah, I think that would be a cool way to bring people on. Obviously, they can't do it on console because just so many spells. And I look at a like a professional WoW streamer and I see like eighty hot bars yeah. and skills on their screen. And I'm like, all right, but you can plug a mouse and keyboard into a PlayStation. Yeah. So like you can you can do it. I'm just saying it is possible to do. So mm-hmm. um final review score for Bounty Hunter. Like right now, what would you say it is? Oh dude, it's an eight out of ten. Eight me. out of ten. Okay. It. Awesome. So. Any issues that you've ran into, like that keeps you from going the, the nine out of ten, ten mm-hmm. out of ten? No, like there's just small tiny bugs that were just silly like i mm-hmm. like uh i was destroying something you have to like break a gate yeah and then you have to shoot a generator or whatever so when i break the gate and i try to aim and like move backwards to shoot yeah i would grab the ledge of the gate and i would go under the map oh. and i would fall through the map like, and it's die silly, yep. yeah it's like silly, silly stuff, stuff like, like that, that. So. i get that so 